and then I realize it's Sunday. Hey guys! Oh wait, I forgot my my type. B R B. Okay, I'm back with my tie, of course. So guys, today I'm showing you some physics applications that we do in our life. Let's check it out. like this here it has greater area reducing the pressure because pressure is force divided by area while heels usually have smaller area than the flat shoes so that means heels have greater pressure than flat shoes <laughs> Number two is the one we studied before in SMA2. It is lens. Lens is different from a mirror. Light reflects mirror. So as you can see, it bounces back. So you can see it reflects, it shines. As for lens, light pass through inside and it refracts it. Mirror is usually plain or not it's curved. The sun is plain. While lens, it is usually curved as you can see. I'm using a concave lens. It is for a near-sighted eyes like me. Near-sighted eye people can't see far away clearly but they can see near objects clearly. Lens work by refraction. It bends light rays inside so it can change its direction. Other than concave and convex lens, we also have camera lens. As you can see, my cat. As I throw the ball onto the ground, or floor, it exerts a downward force. The ground will exert an upward force. That's why the ball bounces. So, if you haven't known, this is an example of application of third law of motion in physics. <laughs> 